Welcome yet again to another new franchise mode for NHL 17. And for this video, we're gonna be voting on the new team. Now I've taken all your suggestions from this time, from last time, narrowed the list down to another four teams that we'll be voting on, two from the east, two from the west. It's gonna work the same way it worked last time. If you weren't here last time, it's very simple. I'm gonna comment in the comment section the names of each team on a separate comment, and you're gonna like that comment for whichever team that you wanna see. And yeah, it's okay to like multiple comments if you wanna see, you know, get your word in for, uh, you know, two different teams that you wouldn't mind seeing, or three different teams, or whatever you wanna do. And also, don't be afraid to, you know, leave a comment with why you'd wanna see that team. Sometimes a firm argument can be more than uh, just a like. So without further ado, let's take a look at the teams. The first team we're going to be taking a look at is the Vancouver Canucks. Now this to me seems like a team that kind of needs a rebuild. There's no real room to go win now. You don't really have a starting goaltender. All you have are the Sedins and Erickson. They're kind of on their way out. Now we could make a special rule like the Sedins in real life who refuse to be traded unless it's to the same team or we have to make them retire on the team to make things harder or whatever. But. Uh, any special rules, whatever. Um, this looks like a team that is in desperate need of a rebuild. If you check out in their system, there's some there. You don't get me wrong, there's some potential, but there's nothing that really stands out on the skater end. No, like, yeah, it's in their NHL team, they got a couple defensemen, you know, but other than that, doesn't look like they have too much to work with. Sure, you got Horvat, Ferchi, and. But I mean, they're they're not really elite of the elite. The only elite that this team has is in the crease. Now we're gonna take a look at him, I think right about now, yeah. There he is, no, no, no. Yep, there he is, Thatcher Demko, right there in the middle. He's the only one you can really look at. Other than that, no one. This team needs a rebuild. The next team we're taking a look at is the San Jose Sharks. Now this was pretty highly requested for the last one, but it didn't make it through. I didn't want to seem too biased, but uh, looking at this team, my goodness. It, <laughs> it's built so badly by EA. They didn't give them any love. I mean, it seems like you got one year period of win now, and you'd still have to make trades to make it good. This is almost like a one year rebuild type team, man, that you'd have to do quite a bit to get them in there, and their prospects in this game are not that great. They're great in real life, but in this game, apparently not. So again, this almost seems like a you have a brief one to two year period of being able to win now, but after that, you have to go into a rebuild. So this team, I kind of like the idea of, you know, the couple years of a win now, or at least try to be a playoff team, and then immediately snap into that rebuild before your prime players start getting old. But either that, it's this is it's such a tough team to work with. EA didn't make that easy, man. <laughs> I refuse to touch this team, even on my own, just how poorly they're built. Look at that AHL stuff. Look at it in the system. Nothing there, goaltender-wise. You know, I mean, no one. No one in the system, and I can't believe what they've done with the what they've done to poor Aaron Dell here. Christ, poor Aaron Dell is in his 70s as a backup. Come on now, and Martin Jones still underrated at 87 severely. Oh man. Well, I don't know what to do with this team. Moving over into the Eastern Conference, we have the New York Rangers. Now this is a very, very interesting candidate for a few reasons. They're a bit like the Sharks where they could be a win now team. They're built a lot better for it, so you wouldn't have to make as many trades. And you have the prospect of Lungfist there, 34 years old, still great value. But if you want to go for that, you know, win now mode, then you can't trade them. But if you want to rebuild, then you trade them. So there's decisions to make immediately. And as we scroll down the roster, you can see good players, some decent prospects, but nothing, again, really, really stands out. They don't have those top-notch guys. And even in the system, you can see there's even a couple eight, uh, NHL-ready guys in there. And then as you scroll down, there's a lot more quantity over quality when it comes to the prospects. Nothing really, really stands out. And you can understand that. They've been in a win-now mode for a while. They've not wanted to waste Lungfist's prime. And, you know, can you blame them? Can you really blame them? Not really. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. It's uh, There's a decision to make with this team. But it would be a very, very interesting thing to tackle. Last but not least is the Montreal Canadiens. Now, this is... 
a highly requested team to say the least. Requested a lot last time, requested a lot this time, so um, it, it could be very interesting. I mean, you look at it, they're definitely win now. You got two to three years, you gotta try to win the cup. You have to. You got guys like Pacioretty, Shea Weber, who have that kind of window in them. Then other than that, they do have some decent prospects. Remember, when we started Detroit, who do we get Sergachev and Yulson from? This team. So you have stuff to work with. I would maybe want to switch it up, not use those guys, since I know they can get good, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they don't get good this time. Maybe we don't play them correctly. Maybe we lucked out. You know, so there's always a possibility of things like that. So, um, yeah, that's what I would want to do with this team like a short little win now period and then move on to some kind of a retool or not really a full-on rebuild because again you might not want to waste carry price who's i think 29 by this point but yeah other than a few guys there in the system like sergachev yulson they don't really have too many other prospects same with goalie prospects no one really but you don't need it when you got carry price who's smack dab in his prime so again this would have to be a win now type of team and then maybe retool the choice is on you, sinners. Will we be taking over the Vancouver Canucks, the San Jose Sharks, the New York Rangers, or the Montreal Canadiens? Vote now below in the comments.